Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. This video is going to be Drew and I's first two days during our vacation in New York. So we decided to take a little vacation after I competed at Team U, which you guys saw in the last vlog. And this day, July 3rd, was my friend Joelle's wedding. So that happened on Long Island and it just worked out perfectly for us to drive across New York and go to her wedding. But first we had to stop at Rent the Runway in Manhattan because none of the dresses that I rented and had mailed to my hotel fit me. Long story short, I totally underestimated how much size I lost during my prep. So the two dress sizes that I got in the mail were both like falling off of me and I had to go into the store and pick up a last minute one that was the correct size. As you can see, despite the case of diet booty, that baby was still Myron. I tried on several different dresses, most of which also didn't fit me because they didn't have a huge variety in my size, but this is the dress I ended up going with. My original choice was a navy dress super similar to this, so I was really happy to find this one. And this is me just playing with the mirror there because it was super cool. You could turn up the brightness and then you could also change it to match like indoor or outdoor lighting. So that was pretty cool. Having a mirror like that would take your mirror pick game up at least three levels. Think about it. This was the other dress I was thinking about getting, which I loved the color and the fit, but I didn't want to be pulling it up all night since it was strapless. So after a long Uber ride into the city and then another long Uber ride into Long Island, we got to our hotel and we got the little goodie bag that Joelle put together for us with snacks and stuff. And this is our hotel room. Drew and I have gotten really good at living in hotel rooms lately, but this one was pretty solid. And then we went to Panera. The first thing that I was craving after the post show noms you guys saw was the Panera poppy seed strawberry poppy seed chicken salad which i love getting every summer so we ubered once again to panera and i died and went to heaven eating the salad it was so good we also split a side cup of corn chowder which i honestly had like two bites of because it wasn't very good and then little candies for dessert i didn't track macros at all during our time in new york but i was genuinely craving the salad after the donuts and mexican food and then brunch with taylor earlier this day i didn't vlog at the wedding at all but drew and i had a really great time we met some awesome people ate great food danced a bunch and even had a couple drinks so it was a fun experience and we're really glad we were able to make it to the wedding all right guys we made it to the east coast mecca which is Bev's, Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym in Long Island, New York. And I'm gonna take you guys through my leg workout. I've been eating a lot of good food. I haven't trained since Thursday. And I'm ready to get a crazy glute pump going. Drew's doing legs. Oop, there he is. Drew's doing legs. I'm doing legs, glute focus, and this place is sick, so I'm super excited to play. Let's go. So, like I said, this is the East Coast Mecca, meaning it is a destination for bodybuilders. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the gym and show you what it was like. The atmosphere was absolutely amazing here. Everyone was working really hard, super focused, and there were a ton of machines to choose from. Whenever I travel, I love trying different gyms because a lot of times they have different equipment than my gym has. So it's always fun to play around on some new machines, which you guys will see that I did a lot during this workout. And it's not always optimal because the programming can be kind of all over the place, but it's fun to do from time to time. As you can see, this place was absolutely crammed full of different machines and that made it kind of overwhelming, but it was super fun and I had a fantastic workout in the end, which I am about to walk you guys through right now. So to start my lower body workouts, I always like to do some activation exercises, which my favorites are some body weight squats, some elevated reverse lunges, which here I'm just using a plate and I do one leg at a time. Here I'm focusing on loading my hips and then using my glutes and hamstrings to stand back up. Had I been feeling tight or sore in any areas, I would definitely have done a longer warm up, but given that my peak week workouts are super easy, I was not sore at all following my competition. 
So right after the bodyweight stuff, I moved on to warming up for my deadlifts with an empty bar. I chose to do stiff leg -like deadlifts this day because like I said, it is a glute and hamstring dominant workout. As you can see, I still do keep a decent bend in my knees, allowing my hamstrings to stretch and loading my hips properly. I'm still using a lot less bend in the knee than I would use for a conventional deadlift. And then I also chose a bit of a wider stance and a wider grip for this so I could utilize my outer glutes a little bit more. And a lot of these little tweaks are going to be totally dependent on your personal biomechanics and how you're feeling that day. So don't be afraid to play around with different stances, grips. Another important thing to pay attention to when you're doing deadlifts like this is that you maintain a neutral spine. So if you notice when I'm going up and down, my head and neck stay in line with the rest of my back. And that's really important because a lot of people tend to crane their neck upwards as they stand up and that puts a lot of stress on your spine. The next exercise I did was this vertical leg press, which I really like this machine because it allows you to get a nice full range of motion, feeling a stretch in your glutes and hamstrings, and it just has a different feel from the typical leg press. So try it out if you ever see one. It can look a little intimidating, but you just have to play around with it. Even though I would consider myself really comfortable in the gym and just working out in general, I still do get a little nervous when I try new machines to be honest. So if you feel the same way, you are not alone. Just be confident and don't be afraid to make adjustments as you go along. I've found that the keys to using your glutes and hamstrings properly during this exercise are to play around with your foot placement and then also use mind muscle connection. So when you're going down, you are loading your glutes and hamstrings and then going up, you are using those same muscles to push the sled upwards. Next up was walking dumbbell lunges. And what I've found really helps me do these properly is thinking about planting that front foot and then sitting back into your glutes. So you're not just using momentum and traveling through the lunge, you're stopping and squatting backwards almost. So for pretty much every exercise in this workout, I did three to four sets. And for this exercise, I just went down and back this little stretch here. And once I made it all the way down, I came back, dropped my dumbbells, and did 20 jumping lunges or jumping split squats between each set. And this was just to get my heart rate up because we were a little short on time and I knew I wouldn't have time to do any cardio. So I did plyos between a few of my exercises. Next up, I wanted to do some sort of glute kickback type exercise, but I didn't just want to use the cable towers because there were some more fun machines and I have cable towers back home. So first I tried this hip machine, which you can adjust it so you're either using your hip flexors or your glutes. I tried to make it work and I just wasn't feeling the right glute activation with this machine. Um, so I did end up switching to a different one which is called the Butt Blaster, and you're going to see that up next. And here is the appropriately named Butt Blaster. As you can see, it's a similar kickback motion, but I prefer this machine just because it is more supportive and allowed me to isolate my glutes better. Some people might feel better on the hip machine. It's all up to individual preference and what feels best to you, but I really like this one. So for this, I did three sets of 15 to 20, making sure to really push through my glutes and squeeze at the top of every rep. A huge key of glute training and glute hypertrophy is using your glutes and not letting other muscles take over. And that is mostly practice and being able to use your brain to activate the correct muscles. Next, I did some cable pull throughs, which you see here. This exercise can be kind of awkward just because you're usually in the middle of the gym and a lot of people tend to stare because they don't know what it's working, but this does indeed work your glutes since it is a hip extension movement. And a little side note, if you want some aesthetic glutes outside of the gym, it's probably not going to be very cute when you're actually working them inside the gym if you're squeezing and activating the muscles properly. 
So I did a couple sets of cable pull throughs and then I moved to this abduction machine which works the outer glutes. I don't have one of these at my gym unfortunately so I always make sure to use it when I go visit other gyms that have it. You see I did some seated and then I also did some holding on to the machine. It's all again personal preference and what you feel the burn best with. The last glute movement I did was just two sets on this hyperextension machine just because it was here and it looked fun and like I said this workout was a little bit all over the place because it was my first workout being off of a plan. I was in a new gym and I just wanted to play around and have some fun so all of my workouts are not usually like this but I figured I'd share it anyways because it was fun. Last but certainly not least, I did some machine calf raises. My calves are something that I really want to bring up during this off season because I noticed in my stage shots from my competition season that they are kind of lacking. So that will be a big focus of mine. Here you see that I stretch and pause at the bottom and then squeeze and pause at the top. So that will conclude this workout and this voiceover. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely try to do more of them in the future. I like them and I think they are a little more informative than just putting text across the screen. So please give me some feedback and I would be happy to include them more often. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it and I will see you in the next vlog which will be Drew and I's food adventures in New York City. So be ready for the food porn. Thanks again for watching guys and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment.